Our media project has many examples of different media conventions. One of the ways that it challenges traditional media is by using lots of different techniques effectively. One famous movie that comes to mind is Panic Room. During this opening sequence is a dolly shot that snakes through the house. Our opening shot has a long dolly shot through the school, however, Panic Room shows just a physical journey. During our dolly shot, different shots fade in over the, over the top. This shows that the empty corridors used to, how they used to look, giving the dolly shot two meanings, a physical journey through the school and also a journey through time. This allows the audience to have a look at the backstory and makes them wonder what changed things. In the seven title, title sequence, the director uses lots of random shots with no apparent meaning that are, that are clearly linked. In our film we have the main dolly shot cross cut with the classroom. It is not clear what exactly is going on, however ours is showing a transition from a clean class to a trashed one. In our film this represents a change in the character. In seven it is unclear what's happening until you watch the rest of the film. Our aim was to represent teenagers and so popular social groups. When we asked teenagers what type of music they thought represented them best, they all agreed that punk rock was more of a teenage than adult type of music. So... We decided to have this type of music playing throughout the film. I think that we did achieve what we set out to achieve in terms of representation. The feedback from the questionnaires mostly agreed that this was a good representation of our music. However, a lot of them said that it was too loud and quite distracting. I think New Line Cinema would distribute our film as they also distribute the film Seven, which has the same conventions as ours. Recently New Line Cinema has merged with Warner Brothers. This is good because Warner Brothers will promote our film well as they are a big time company. Suggestions from our feedback give, gives us the impression that our film looks a lot more professional than we thought it'd be. This is why New Line Cinema would be the best option as it is merged with Warner Brothers. Our target audience for our film will be people who enjoy thrillers and young people in general from age 12 to 21. Our target audience from our feedback responded positively, so we know we have achieved our targets on social groups. Alternative audiences from our feedback also gave us good feedback. This is a good sign as it shows our film can be enjoyed by other types of audiences. We tried to attract our audience in a number of ways. Um, the first thing we did is, seeing as our target audience was teenagers, we set are seen in a school which is very relatable, something people can relate to, makes it more realistic. Uh, again, as I said before, the music was very popular among teenagers. Um, also, the main character is young, so we tried to pick things that are relatable to teenagers generally, and we found that that was a good way to attract the audience because generally people are more interested in things that are similar to them. During our production we used two different cameras. One was a Canon XM2, a digital tape camera, and it's a bigger of the two. The tape means it has a large recording time, however it, we opted to use the smaller Canon 550. It is still capable of filming in HD, the only downside is the SD card has low memory space and needs to be cleared often when filming. This means you need to carry around a laptop with an SD card slot. This is another upside of the Canon, you can transfer the film directly to your laptop rather than using a portable hard drive like the XM2. Since my preliminary, I learned that to film um, it requires better planning, uh, for example, getting a better contact with your groups and schedules, etc. The better quality in our final production was because we tried a wide range of shots in our preliminary. This helped us select the shots that were most effective. During our production we used two different cameras. One was a Canon XM2, a digital tape camera, and the bigger of the two. The tape means it has a large recording time, however we opted to use the smaller Canon 550. It is still capable of filming in HD, the only downside is that SD card has low memory space and needs to be cleared often when filming. This means you need to carry around a laptop with, you, with an SD card slot. This is another upside of the Canon. You can transfer the film directly to the laptop rather than using a portable hard drive like the XM2. Both use the same tripod, so that nothing else you need to learn the skills are transferable. To keep up to date with how much work we have done and what we accomplished, we used the website Blogger, 
This is a free service that means you. To give up today with how much we had done, what we had accomplished, we use the website Blogger. This is a free service that means you can make as many blog posts as possible. On the website we create different posts like filming obstacles. This is a, this is a useful tool because not only is it free, but it means you don't need to worry about organising your notes throughout the year. However, with this there are lots of technical problems such as not being able to log on or blog posts not posting properly. Since my preliminary, I've learned um, things like this require better planning, for example, schedules and things like that. The better quality in our final production was because we tried a wide range of shots in the pre preliminary. This helped us in our final production to select the, the shots that were most effective. When I first did my preliminary activity, I had a lot of problems, mostly down to the lack of planning and preparation. For instance, when I first filmed, I had to use a room that was being for other people. This taught me the importance to book rooms in advance, not only so you can have control over the surroundings, but so you can ensure you have the best means on scene for your production. This brings me to another important lesson, always check your background. In my preliminary activity, there is a tripod in one of the back of the shots which ruins the mise on scene. To overcome poor planning. We, we used a contact sheet on the blog so that we could always stay in touch to make sure everyone knew the plan. This meant that 